Let's stay with that story now. Professor Christian Dustman is the uh, director of the Centre for Research and Analysis on Migration and joins us from our central London studio. Professor Dustman, thanks so much indeed for joining us. Now, in the introduction, I said thousands of migrants uh, were caught on the border between Macedonia and Greece. Do you think that's the wrong terminology for a media organisation like us to be using? Um, well, migrants are individuals who uh, move from uh, their location of birth to another location. So it's a very general term. Uh, and it is uh, certainly uh, correct to refer to these individuals as migrants. Uh, however, there are many types of different migrants and, uh, well, many and probably the vast majority of these individuals uh, are or will seek asylum in a European country um, because they are forced to leave their countries of origin because of persecution, uh, insecurity uh, or uh, other reasons. So um, they are migrants, but at the same time, uh, the vast majority of them uh, are uh, refugees as well. I ask that because it's often a matter of national tone, the language, the choice of vocabulary that's used to describe a situation that dictates the reaction, the action of countries. And it, it seems at the moment that certain European countries, like Germany and Sweden, for example, uh, nationally showing a lot more compassion to the, uh, the situation these people find themselves in than, say, the UK is. Well, I mean, the, the burden of uh, the uh, refugee uh, migrations, which are a result of a humanitarian disaster we are seeing in many of the conflict countries on the other side of the Mediterranean, is very unevenly distributed. Uh, so certainly countries like Greece and uh, Italy, the entry countries, uh, are uh, having a, a huge burden to carry at the moment. But then among the northern European countries, countries like Sweden, uh, and Germany have received the vast majority uh, of refugees or individuals who are seeking uh, asylum. So to just put that into numbers, when we look at the first three months uh, of this year, uh, Germany received about 40% of all asylum applications, while uh, the UK uh, received only 4%. So exactly. certainly a very unequal uh, uh, distribution of the burden of that humanitarian crisis we are seeing at the moment. Okay, so, and so why is that happening? Is that unilateral action on the part of the German government? Is it uh, that um, uh, there's a system that doesn't really work properly or that there is no system at all and it's just up to countries to volunteer and put up their hands and invite people in? No, I mean certainly the UK situation is, uh, there, I think there are at least two reasons. Uh, one of them is uh, the UK is an island uh, so that's why we are seeing uh, a concentration of individuals who would like to go to the UK and ask for asylum in the UK, in Calais, something we have been talking about for uh, the past uh, few months. Uh, Germany is not an island, uh, it's also part of the Schengen Agreement. So uh, as soon as uh, an individual has made it into one of the Schengen countries, it is relatively easy uh, to move from one country uh, to another one. Uh, so it is certainly more difficult for Central European countries uh, to uh, close their borders, so to say, uh, than it is uh, for the UK, where the entry passages uh, are all going either through the air uh, or over the channel. But the sheer imbalance in the mathematical distribution would suggest that what we need is a pan-European policy uh, that is agreed and coordinated by refer representatives from all the countries to actually distribute of these people. I mean, are we at the point yet where we uh, recognize as a consonant the inevitability of the arrival of these people? Well, certainly coordination is uh, very important at this moment. Uh, what, as I said earlier, what we are seeing now is something Europe has, uh, in those numbers, uh, never experienced, not even during the Balkan Wars. Uh, and uh, it is uh, not clear whether uh, this will very soon uh, abate. So uh, coordination on a European level uh, is uh, very much uh, um, on, 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 on the schedule at the moment. And I think what we are seeing now uh, are uh, um, attempts of various countries to find uh, a solution to this issue, uh, to uh, distribute the burden more equally uh, and to address uh, the humanitarian issues which are uh, rising from this very large inflow we are seeing right now. Uh, Professor Christian Dussman, thanks very much indeed for joining us this afternoon here on Sky News. You're welcome.